we're gonna go back to another arm bar from here like this oh and also one thing to note remember I said if he uh, brings his elbow to his knee like this and you're, you're trying to bring your thigh underneath to extend that arm but he has his elbow so connected to the knee that I can't actually get my thigh behind his elbow for whatever reason in this situation you have to use this foot to create a little bit of space go shin to shin and point that knee in so that you can bring the knee up to separate the elbow from the thigh. So make a strong elbow and knee connection here, Andres. If his elbow's on the outside of his knee, it's easy to get that extension. If it's on the inside of the knee, it's a lot more difficult. That's when I have to use the shin. I hook my foot. And the key here is not to extend your leg away, but just pinch your knee inwards. Just the inward pinch is what breaks that position and then puts my thigh right in line to extend, threaten the arm lock. He turns the thumb. I go umuplata here. Okay, so that's what we're looking for now. So when you do the setup for the position, person on top, tuck the elbow on the inside or on the outside so they can experience, experiment with the different setups. Ankle in front of the shin, pinch the knee, pull that. Threaten, he turns the thumb down, umu plata. So this is where we're at so far. From now, uh, from this position forward, I keep the control of the sleeve and I plant my foot and I bring both legs over the top of his back here, like this. So if I was doing the umoplata, he can lift his hips and start trying to escape or roll and I have to block this. But what I'm doing is I'm keeping the sleeve for a second and I'm planting my foot and I'm turning towards his hips here. I can keep the sleeve, it doesn't really matter. You can underhook it, you can let go of it. Just control this arm in some way. Whether you want the sleeve grip, I like to usually just hug it at this point. This arm's not going anywhere. He can't really bring it in front of my body. At this point, I can just kind of control here. From this position, I bring both my legs straight towards his hips. I still have the collar as well. Pay attention to that. Don't let go of this collar. I need that to keep myself stuck to him. I bring this leg in front of his thigh. Here, and I bring it all the way through to the other side of his hip, like this. From here, I can let go of the collar. His thumb is pointed up. Do the, do the flick again. That was cool. So from here, most of the time they're going to try and roll, which is why I kept this leg behind his legs here. If he's super strong and he postures all, or he gets his hips all the way up and tries to roll over, go ahead and sell all the way up. It's fine. You just keep it and you can clear it and come back to the arm lock here like this. Okay. Let's try the whole sequence again. Pinching the elbow. I can't get my thigh behind it. Pinch your elbow tighter. Can't get my thigh behind it. Create a little space. Pinch the knee in. Extend. Arm lock, umaplata, plant my foot so I can turn. Do not bring your leg up and over like this. This is not going to be as effective of an arm bar. I need to bring both my legs here. This one goes in and through, arm lock. I want to make sure that I don't let his arm go towards his hip so he can grab something to defend, whether he grabs his belt or something like that. I want to keep this arm with me the whole time. Threaten the arm lock. If he goes to roll over to escape, I just let his legs go and keep the arm lock here. Okay? Questions? I'll do it one more time. Control. Here. I want to have this underhook or controlled in some manner. Both legs down to his legs, and then this one goes through. All right, let's try it. Three, two, one. Do the umoplata first. You skip the umoplata. You got to actually do the umoplata. You threaten the umoplata. He's defending mm -hmm. the umoplata. Yeah. yeah, or you just want to switch to something else. So. Okay. All the way down. Mm -hmm. At the same time. Yep. Sorry. That's how you know it's working. <laughs> Hitting those subs. Alright, I'm wrapping the audio on that No, so you don't have to put that foot underneath. That one stays behind his legs. Alan tries to roll. Roll, yeah. But just keep your hips tighter and control the arm better next time. Nice. You just, yeah, don't put that foot underneath. From here, turn your hips towards me. But uh, the umoplata has to stay locked. So you like get, put the, the left leg, like umoplata position, yes. Turn and put that knee all the way down to the mat. Now from here, you straighten both legs and put them behind her legs. And then that creates space to put the one foot in, pull it up towards you, and both hands go to the wrist now. And extend the right leg to get the leverage. To arm lock, nice. Then next time you do it, Jadea, you roll over and you 
uh, follow the arm to the arm bar when she rolls. So shrimp and plant your foot to create space. So when you shrimp to create the space, scoot your yeah, scoot yourself away from him. So you have room to put the shin to shin. I see. I see. Yes, and he's gonna be curling in, and you pinch your knee in, and then then make sure that make sure you use your thigh behind his elbow to extend it, because he's gonna stay like this, because he feels the danger. So go back. So G, keep your keep your elbow tight. Don't let him get it back. So you create space, shin to shin, pinch. As you pinch the elbow, your thigh goes right behind his elbow. Yeah. Now as you bring it back up, yes, that's the extension. That one behind there. Yep. Gotcha. Lock umaplata. Good. I like to underhook the wrist right away here. Like okay. just underhook and hug it to you is probably best. Okay. Bring that knee all the way down to the mat, but keep it locked. Now both legs go over to the leg. That one goes in. Under there? Yes. I see. Then he tries to roll. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you wanna make sure to never miss the latest jujitsu technique uploads from this channel, hit the subscribe button. And there's also a notification bell that you can ring to make sure that you get all the notifications for everything that we do here on the channel. You know that this channel is the best instructional YouTube channel on YouTube, maybe even the world.